This will almost certainly be the last great gathering of Bomber Command veterans from the Second World War. They are all in their 90s now, but quick to point out it wasn't always that way. We were young volunteers, young crazy boys. Quick too, with an incisive answer. What did you do during the war? Well, I hope to win it. <laughs> Bomber Command's considerable contribution and sacrifice is commemorated with a monument as tall as a Lancaster bomber's wing. It looks out over countryside that would be familiar to the wartime crews who took the fight to Hitler's Germany. Most bombers were based around Lincoln, including 617 Squadron, better known as the Dam Busters, for their use of Barnes Wallace's bouncing bomb to breach German dams and flood the Nazis' weapon factories. Today, the last surviving British member of the Dambusters raid, Johnny Johnson, was back in Lincoln for the opening of the Bomber Command Centre and its monument that lists the names of almost 58,000 aircrew and support teams who lost their lives. As long as these walls stand and the names are still clear, they're there for future generations to see and remember the sacrifice that all these people made. This. If Bernie may. Johnny, 96 now, found the name of close friend and rear gunner Bernie May, killed when his bomber crash landed. Went right through the barrier at the far end, knocked in the nose of the aircraft and killed Bernie on the spot direct, just like that. Tremendous loss, I felt, for, for me anyway. On a bitterly cold day when a new generation of the RAF is preparing for possible deployment, these veterans know all about the risks that involves. The pride and the loss they still feel after serving their country. Paul Davis, ITV News, Lincoln.